Uh, yesterday, the president's budget was due. We don't have it yet. It's coming late again. The president uh, likes to call his new plan America Built to Last. I would call it America Drowning in Debt. By all press accounts we're getting early, it seems as if the president's doing little more than class envy and the status quo, which is the greatest threat to our health security, our retirement security, our national security, and our economic security. So unfortunately, what we're getting from the president is not the kind of leadership we need to preempt a debt crisis and get our economy growing. We're getting a political document yet again. And as Mr. Hensling said, every year of this presidency is another year where we're a trillion dollars in debt, a trillion dollar deficit added every year. You could get rid of all discretionary spending and we would still have a budget deficit. The president cannot run on his record because it's dismal. The president is clearly not changing his tune or his policies because he is determined to stick with the status quo. And as a result, he has decided to wage this campaign dividing Americans and pitting one against each other. That's not how you grow the economy. That's not hopeful. That's not aspirational. Um, that, unfortunately, is America drowning in debt. And we are going to do things differently. We're bringing budget process reforms to the floor, two last week, two this week, to change the way we budget for tax, hardworking taxpayer dollars. We think we need to bring more accountability and more transparency to the way the Congress spends people's money. And we will offer a budget that is in stark contrast to the president's. It's one that will actually prevent a debt crisis, save our health and retirement security programs, and get this economy growing by lifting this burden of debt off of the back of American taxpayers.